an overwhelming favorite still is two to five. The price offered on the six. A Rod Hall. It's post time for race number two. Problematic start for nine. Scary good. Missed the gate. Here they come. Off and trotting, Summit City Nate is off and breaking. First away down the center, Musical Spell firing out. Waikiki Hanover, way out wide is Park Hill nonstop, and Park Hill nonstop will roll to the front. Into the pocket spot for Waikiki Hanover, Musical Spell the third. There's the favorite, A-Rod Hull out of trouble in the early going. He'll slide down and find the pylons from it fourth. Off the speed from back in fifth now as they race to the quarter is Hetty's commander, Glenn Covzini, off to a clean start from back in sixth. Seventh inside, he chased along a Plum Hanover. Further back inside races up. Scary good. After the miscue, Summit City Nate is our trailer. 27-4 on top of the quarter. Park Hill non-stop. Park Hill non-stop by two over Waikiki Hanover to three-eighths. Then it's musical spell inside. Here's A-Rod Hall getting underway out of fourth into third. Now second and pressing on here for Wa. And it's A-Rod Hall getting into gear as the field nears the midway point. Tempo setter continues to be Park Hill non-stop. A-Rod Hall is right up alongside him though. 56 and 3 the opening half a second split of 28 and 4 and we've got a new race leader as A-Rod Hall strikes the front trots out to a two length advantage Park Hill non-stop back into second Waikiki Hanover to the rail third then musical spell gapping inside from in fourth in behind that one is Hetty's commander from in fifth now Aplomb Hanover is sixth and the field travels up to three quarters A-Rod Hall with a three length lead at that third post for Wa, and they've reached that post in 124 and 2 27 and 4 in that third quarter and it's A-Rod Hall coming into the stretch now on top by six open lengths. Back into second is Park Hill nonstop. Late speed from in third for Waikiki Hanover. Tipping out as well comes Hetty's commander as they travel into the final eighth of the mile. And it's A-Rod Hall still doing good things up front. He's clear by seven and they're not going to touch him. Not going to touch him if they went around again. A-Rod Hall simply jogs to win tonight's second race. A drop and pop to the extreme as A-Rod Hall crushes them in 154-3. Waikiki Hanover over second, Hetty's commander finished third.